Hello friends, good morning. I did some cleaning this morning. I'm about to make us something to eat. First and foremost, these things have been staring at me since yesterday. Yesterday I went to Sprouts. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you guys came with me. Oh, the lens is super dirty. Let me clean you guys real quick. Oh goodness. Okay, I don't know why the lens look weird. Yesterday I took you guys with me to Sprouts because I wanted to buy the poppy sodas. Today we're going to Target because a lot of people messaged me last night on Instagram when I shared the poppy soda and they said to go buy the brand Olipop, I believe. So it's kind of the same thing. It's also a prebiotic soda, but apparently it tastes better. And it says online that Target has a few options. So I have to go to Target anyways. I have to return a blanket. So we're going to Target in a little bit, but first I wanted to make a little bit of, I was gonna, have you guys seen that thing? I did it on Instagram the other day. It was avoca avocado toast, but she took boi a boiled egg and she shredded it like cheese on top of the avocado. And it was really, really good, but I really like my eggs runny when it comes to avocado toast. <laughs> Cooper's been barking up a storm this whole morning and I have no idea why. Coopy, why are you so dramatic? But I got these at Sprouts yesterday, you guys. This is the Simple Joys Bakery Banana Nut Sliced Banana Bread. Sweetened with naturally ripen, ripened bananas and topped with crunchy walnut pieces. And they're so good. If you guys ever go to Sprouts and you see this, buy it. 100% guaranteed that this is going to literally be so popular in your household. It is amazing. We ate like four pieces yesterday. I think I'm gonna save this for later. It's so good, like in the middle of the night. Carlos eats this with milk. He's a huge milk fan, you guys know that. So I think I'm gonna make avocado toast. Later, Carlos's really good friend Gio is coming over and I believe he's spending the night. I love Gio. You guys probably have met Gio before in a few vlogs. Oh, especially the Friendsgiving one. Then you guys have probably already met him. But he's coming over to hang today. I think I'm probably going to make the Zupa Toscana soup for them, but I'm not too sure yet. But first, let's make this avocado toast. Bread, bread, bread. Three slices, I need four, man. Hi boys. Mommy's gonna make avocado toast. I'm going to use my toaster. I've had it for, I think maybe like two weeks now, but I haven't used it on screen yet. So I figured I would use it today with you guys. So this is the Revolution toaster. It toasts two pieces and the front has this screen and it's really cool. Let me show you guys. Very extra for no reason, but very, very cool to be honest. The price is not cute though, I will say. So it has the screen and you can choose, where should I put you guys? Okay, there, you can see better. So this is the screen. So it has the screen right here. I'll lower the brightness so you can see. So you can choose between to toast, bagel, waffle, Pop-Tart, muffin. Muffin, right? Muffin toast thingy? Or back to toast. Oh wait, it says it right here. Oh my God, English muffin. I didn't even see that, you guys. I'm doing bread today, and then you can choose if the bread you're putting in is fresh, frozen, or if you're just reheating. So ours is fresh, because it's directly out of the bag. And then you can choose how much you want to toast the bread so you can put it at one which is like slightly like barely there two three four five six or if you like to eat your bread burnt which I don't know if people do let me know in the comments if you know someone who likes to eat their bread burnt I'm very curious about this number seven option but I usually like mine at a level three sometimes at a four we'll do a four today and then you put your pieces of toast in here I have two here that are ready to go. This is very hard with one hand. And my husband decides right now that he's going to vacuum. I apologize. So we have the bread in there, and then we're gonna do four and hit start. And then it goes down by itself, and it counts down for you, which is really cool. And when it's done, the machine, the toaster, like, starts singing this tune, and then these pop up. You guys, it's just like any normal toaster. It's just freaking bougie for no reason. But I wanted to try it out because I saw it all over TikTok, and I was so interested in it. And so far, I really like it, but I definitely would put it in a category of, like, if you just have extra money or you are interested in, like, technology stuff. It's not a necessity. Like, you can go to Target and get a toaster that will toast four pieces and it's amazing. We used to have that one and I gave it to my mother-in-law. It's That one works just fine. Or you can use an air fryer which this is my favorite. I got this off Amazon. Kosari. The best air fryer in the world. And here you go. You have perfectly level four toast. <laughs> it's so cute. I should have toasted it later. I have to make my eggs now. Dang it. I was so excited to show you that. We're using my caraway pan here. You guys know I love my caraway pan. Avocado! Look at this cute little butcher knife I found. <laughs> Put 
put all of the eggs in. Avocado. Oh, it's kind of brown. My mom was always like that. She was like, eh, I don't care. Especially because avocados are so expensive. It's not going to kill you. Avocado toast. Yeah. Very quick, though. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Where's yours? I'm making mine right now. Oh. Eat yours, though. I usually make it really pretty and not today. my plate. I was like literally upset earlier. Oh no. Yeah. Bon appetit, honey. Bon appetit. Oh, it looks so good. I kind of messed up my eggs. <laughs> why? You put too much? Uh, I don't know why. It was acting up. It was like burnt a little bit. Mmm. I usually eat with my hands, but the eggs are super runny today. Mmm. Mm. That was really good, babe. Ooh! I love a crispy egg. It's my favorite. He loves the sun. Caspi, do you love the sun? You look so beautiful right now, babe. You look stunning with the sun. Oh my gosh, beautiful lighting. Hot Cass. So beautiful. Carlos says it's a hit, you guys. It's really good. I need to put uh, pictures in these frames. <laughs> oh, I know. It's been a year, dude. We are at Starbucks. There is a long line. Everybody wants to go to Starbucks at this time. I feel like Starbucks around this time is so popular, like, you know, three o'clock, four o'clock-ish. And it's also so hot these days. I know I'm wearing a sweater right now, but this is fairly light. Also, goals, my sweater color, this green matches my scrunchie exactly. I feel like I am accomplishing things in life today. I am at Starbucks because I want to try a brand new drink. I saw this drink on TikTok and I've been dying to try it, so I'm very excited. If you guys know me, then you know that. <laughs> oh, bless you, Kim, thank you. Oh my gosh. If you guys don't already know, I'm Vietnamese, and one of the things that I love about the Vietnamese culture, one of many, is the coffee. The Vietnamese coffee is so good. If you guys have never had really good Vietnamese coffee, you are missing out on life. And obviously, I spent eight, nine years or so in Orange County. So the Vietnamese coffee there is so good. I always would go to Lee's Sandwich and get their Cafe Sữa Da, which is cafe is coffee in Vietnamese, and then Sữa is milk, and Da is ice. So it's basically iced coffee <laughs> with milk. I'm so excited because she posted this this TikTok, I took a screenshot, and she says, if you go to Starbucks and you order this, it tastes just like Cafe Soda. So it's a venti ice espresso quad three fluid ounce. Oh no, no, no. Oh my gosh, how would I order this? I'm glad I'm doing it now. It's a venti ice espresso with one pump toast, one pump toasted white chocolate mocha sauce. That's what it says. Oh my gosh. I've never ordered something like this. Let me let me actually look at her TikTok one more time before I sound so stupid. Living with Lon. I'm listening to her in Vietnamese and she's saying different than what the screenshot says. Uh oh. Seven pumps, okay. Four shots ice espresso in a venti cup with seven pumps of toasted chocolate mocha sauce adjusted to your sweetness liking. That's a lot of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, wish me luck. I got the drink. Okay, so this is what I ordered. A ice espresso. Oh, I'll put it on the screen. I don't even know how to read it. I'm gonna mix it all up. Okay, wait, in a venti cup, four pumps toasted white mocha. Oh my, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna try. The font is off. Oh my gosh, I hope this tastes like a face it eh? Oh. Oh, I should have done seven pumps. Oh, it's really close, you guys. It's really close. I should have done seven pumps. 
Oh, I should just walk back in and get seven pumps of white mocha. I found it, you guys. Let's see. This is the Orange Squeeze. A subscriber recommended this brand from Target. Olipop Orange Squeeze. And then I also got Classic Root Beer. And then I also got Strawberry Vanilla, which was highly recommended as well. I got this because I'm making a recipe. And then this looked good. White Grape. Do you guys sometimes just crave soup out of a can. I don't know why. Sometimes I crave it. Like, I love a good classic chicken noodle soup. I bought Campbell's the other day. Like, the Campbell's chicken noodle soup brand. I don't understand why I ever used to like it. It was so salty. Oh, chicken broth. We need chicken broth. This is great. If they have everything at Target, I don't have to go to State of Brothers. We need adobo. We ran out of this. We love adobo, but eh, without pepper. No, no, no. We like it with pepper. We are whipping up dinner first and foremost for the boys. It's like 8.30, almost 9 o'clock, and that's usually the time that they eat their food. I'm gonna start off with their favorite snack. I've talked about Open Farm so much on my channel, on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, on my Instagram stories. You guys know how much we love and appreciate and value Open Farms in this house. Ever since we changed their meals to Open Farms, they've been so excited about their food. They've been happier, they've been looking healthier, their attitude has changed. I feel like the last food that I was feeding them, they kind of like got too picky. Like the first few meals would be okay, but then they were like really never excited. So I felt like I was always changing up their meals. And that's why I used to uh, make their food all the time, which I still do once in a while, but I'm really happy that we found Open Farms. They have a lot of variety. They have kibble, dry food, they have broth. They also have treats like this. <laughs> they get so excited over snacks. They literally love this cod skin. I know, right? It looks so good. Do you guys hear that crunch? Here you go, Caspi. This is 100% cod skin, very good for their coat. These are the layers that are in the snack, and honestly, it looks so good, you guys. Like, I wanna eat it myself. And then another thing we love is their broth. Broth is such a great way to add hydration. It's also really good for their collagen intake. Then for their kibble, this is a small bag. We have a big bag that we have in a container in the uh, laundry room. But this is the kibble that they're usually really interested in. There's a variety of different kibbles on the Open Farms website, but the chicken one seems to be very popular in this house. When it comes to the broth, they have chicken beef and then they also have turkey as well. This is their new size. This is the 32 ounce. Yeah, this is the 32 ounce. They also have a smaller version if you want to buy that and try it out. And then also to add with the kibble and the broth as well, we love the stew. I love the stew because you can really see the chunks of meat in there. It's not like the other wet food or like canned food where you open it up and you're kind of like skeptical. It's not covered in rice or a bunch of other things. You literally see the food that your dog is eating. If you guys are wondering about the size of the kibble, I also really like the size of the kibble. It is fairly small, so it's really easy for them to eat. Now the tip with kibble is, after you put it into their bowls, you wanna add a little bit of water and let it sit there, because you want the kibble to absorb all the water for extra hydration. Think of it as eating like dry cereal. Um, you just wanna add a little bit of water, so it makes it easier for them to eat the kibble, and also easier for the dogs to digest as well. So I go ahead and fill the bowl with water and then for their broth broth is so easy and there are directions in the back um, we just pour a little bit over all the containers are really easy when you have leftovers you can just seal it up and put it in the fridge you guys are gonna love love the stew if you have picky eaters um, our picky eaters would be uh, Cooper just Cooper <laughs> our picky eater would be Cooper and you guys he devours the stew, he loves it, and then the boys love it too. Another thing that I absolutely love about Open Farms that I will always tell you guys is you can literally search up every single ingredient and trace it back to where it came from. So there's always going to be a little uh, magnifying glass and like a code in the back of every single product. 
you can trace where each ingredient comes from. And I believe that Open Farms also handpicks their farmers so they know exactly what ingredients and what um, other things are going into each of their product. So in our home, since we have four dogs, we use the stew as a topper. You can use the stew as a meal on its own or you can use it as a topper like us. It's really up to you guys and whatever works you know, for your lifestyle. So this is what the kibble and the broth and the water and the stew all looks like. And then I also give them vitamins, but I give it to them separately after their meals. All right, Lee, let's go. Oh, you're so excited. You always do a spin where you sit for mama and then fall. Good boy. Here you go. Casper. Here you go, Casper. Rocky. Rocky Koopy. Here you guys go. Do you guys hear that sound? Oh my goodness. We are slurping up a storm. They literally will finish that in like two seconds. They love open farms. I will list everything down below for you guys. There is also a discount code, 15% off your first purchase with the discount code KIM. It's just K-I-M, short, sweet, to the point. It takes 15% off your first order. So make sure you guys check out open farms. I highly suggest their kibble, stew, broth, and snacks. I absolutely love everything on their website and I 100% trust them, so highly recommend. I'm freaking out you guys. I ordered this a few days ago and it came way faster than I thought. I thought it was going to come in like a week and a half, two weeks. But this is a box that I got from McGee & Co. which is Studio McGee's home decor line. It's a little bit on, actually not a lot, not a little bit, a lot on the higher end side. But some of the stuff you can score for a lower price. And I think that's why Studio McGee has a collection at Target because to them the Target line is like the more affordable route. I will say McGee & Co. is definitely really expensive. This box, oh my gosh, I have been looking for something like this for months. It is so beautiful. Look at this, you guys. So I'm going to put this on the coffee table to hold our remotes. I've been looking for something like this for so long. I love the vibe of it. I love the color. I just love the brown on the inside. We have like a brown wood material. And then on the in outside, I love the little colors of like cream and a little bit of beige and tan. This really goes well with our new couch that's coming and then like the whole living room vibe. And also, you guys know, I'm really into like fluted designs right now, and this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my gosh, look at this. You guys, it's so beautiful. Like, I don't know how else to explain this. I know it's just like a little box, but I love it so much. I was leaving the store, and there was a group of girls, and they were selling Girl Scout cookies. And so I stopped by and bought one of each, except I bought two of these. These are our favorites. These are so good, the Caramel Delights. So we bought 11. <laughs> we bought 11 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. They were the sweetest girls ever. So we're stocked up on cookies in this house, that's for sure. Our neighbor Vanessa brought us over a whole bag of lemons. Thank you, Vanessa. They look amazing. I think her sister has a lemon tree in her backyard. We're gonna put this in the fridge. I'm in the mood now to make lemonade. And then I saw these beautiful white roses when I went into Stater Brothers and I thought this would be so pretty on the coffee table because I just got that cute little pot yesterday from Magnolia, right? I think you guys saw it in the last vlog, but I love white roses with baby's breath. It's my favorite. It's just so angelic and pretty. So I'm going to put those in the pot in a little bit. We're gonna start making the soup now. Carlos and I are going to try the Olipop soda now. Trying orange, orange squeeze first. It's kind of warm though. You first. That is better. It's better than Poppy? The orange one, yeah. Apparently this is better. This is better than their orange one. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. That one's better than the orange one. Mm, what about the, it's more calories. That's why. Well, cause it does taste sweeter, so. 45 calories. And the other one was only like, Sodium. 15. The other one has zero sodium. This one has 35 milligrams. Oh shoot. Sugar, this one has five grams. And then carbohydrate 16. Yeah, so this is obvious it's gonna taste better. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta pick and choose. You can't have both, you know. I like poppy though. I think I'll stick with poppy, but I wanna try the other flavors. For poppy, I like mm. strawberry lemon I and like this one. Watermelon. watermelon. Yeah. And then I kinda didn't mind raspberry. This one. I kinda didn't mind the raspberry rose. Mm, that's good. Yummy. 
I'm going to make the Zupa Toscana soup now. If you guys have been to Olive Garden, then you know what it is. It's my favorite soup at Olive Garden, and now we make it at home, and I will say, it tastes really good at home. I will post the recipe down below. There's a video that I did, I think in December, where I went through the whole entire recipe. I think I've made this a few times already on my channel by now, but it is one of my favorite soups to make. It is so good. I promise you, you're literally going to impress your friends and family. It's so easy as well. It's one of my favorites. There's a specific sausage I use in the video. I'll post the link down below. Like I said, they were out of it and I completely forgot that tomorrow is Super Bowl. Tomorrow's the Super Bowl, so I think a lot of people bought it probably to make burgers, but they were completely sold out. So I just went with my, I just went to the meat section and asked for hot Italian sausage, but you guys have to buy the Jimmy Dean's hot sausage. It makes the whole soup. It's so good. It's literally the star of the whole thing. I'm just warming up my pot right now and I'm going to put in my sausage, bacon. Oh, you guys can see in the video. <laughs>
Hmm, I'm making buffalo cheesy chicken taquitos. Was that good? It was. You yeah. liked it? Mm -hmm. Hey, try that drink. I love it. I like it more than Celsius. Oh shit. Is that good? That's bomb. Hello friends, happy Valentine's Day! Carlos surprised me with these beautiful roses and flowers and balloons. Look how cute! I forgot that <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it! It's so beautiful. I love red roses for Valentine's Day. They're so pretty. And then Carlos and I just exchanged presents. My present's coming tomorrow though, but he already told me what it is and I love it. And then this is what I got Carlos for Valentine's Day. I uh, got Funko Pops. I like that one. Yeah, that one came with a case for some reason, bubs. Wait, that's actually kind of dope. I like these cases. And then he got Luke Skywalker. Wait, look. Yeah. Yeah, you can buy them for the Funko Pops. These cases are super, super dope. Like for the can ones I, see I really it? like. Can I see it? This one's what? Donatello. And then that yeah. one. I think that one's so cute. This one's uh, Luke Skywalker, Star Wars, and he's holding Baby Yoda. Oh, as you guys can tell, Carlos collects Funko oh, Pops. Oh, Grogu, sorry. It's Grogu. It's not Baby Yoda, it's Grogu. Oh, I didn't know the difference. I just thought it was cute. So that is what we're doing today's Valentine's Day. We were supposed to get our backyard done, but he's coming tomorrow actually. So none of the plans really worked out. However, we got the boys this machine thing that they can put the ball in and it shoots itself. So I think we're gonna open that in a little bit and then I'm trying to, oh, I'm gonna warm up soup for Carlos. I just love this, it's so cute. I love balloons and flowers. I'm gonna warm up soup for Carlos actually. Ones that connect, sorry baby, one that connects to the iPhone? No, I know, but I'm saying like what type of... Like the normal ones that come with the iPhones. Oh, you like those? Yeah, and I can't find them. You have brand new ones right here, bro. Oh! You stole those from me then. No, I did not. I just keep them safe because somebody <laughs> doesn't know how to store things. Baby, it's Valentine's Day. No need for that behavior. <laughs> Look, you got brand new ones right there too. Okay, I'll do this. So these are, oh wait, no, you can't use these. You have to use those. What gay? Because oh, you have no headphone jack on your iPhone. That's what I meant. Yeah, I need this, Because Apple kind of whack with that, you know? 
My bubbles are blue. Have you seen your green ones? And sometimes they don't even send. Apple you cut. You don't know Apple. when you're texting. How hard is it to leave this? You don't in. know when your text How message hard? is deliver. How hard? And half the time you don't even get pictures, so you're missing out on moments in life. Okay, well, honestly, half the time I don't care when people text me, so I don't really care. And no. also, your phones are so bulky looking. And like but you can't stop. Even, it's she's not so even. fake. <laughs> she's so fake because yeah. low key she like she's in love with my freaking. Uh, no, because I feel bad for it. You're you're in love with the freaking uh, fold. Nah, man. Yes, you are. Nah, man. You were like, I wish Apple would do something cool like this. Apple's already cool. Look, I have nothing against Apple. I love Apple, except their phones. I love their phones. Why are you so bougie? Why is it in a Louis Vuitton box? Why not? I love different connection types and stuff. Here, Guadi. Whoa. Riley this wants is, to know if you can get him a phone. It's about time. Riley, why do you need a phone, huh? He said he's got to call back to his friends in Korea. Oh my goodness. Here, let me see your eyes. Good boy, stay. Good boy. Hey, did you text Gio to make sure he made it home safe? Yeah, he's fine. He's looking, he's, he saw the group message chat, so it's fine. It's fine. He could have gotten kidnapped and that's the kidnapper. I'll text him. He's fine. So good, huh, babe? Yeah. When are you going to OC? Uh, Wednesday. Why, you needed something? No, because I was thinking that I wanted to do something. With the boys? Yeah. Okay. Like where they came over and we drank and shit. Do it. Uh, it's just so last minute. Do it Friday. I'll, I'll let them know. Yeah, do it Friday. You should have a boys night. You want me to like make anything? You want a barbecue? Uh, I'll, I'll talk to them then. Have them over. This soup lasts us three days. Mm -hmm. I made this, what, Saturday? Yeah. And it's so good. I went to Target. <laughs> okay, look. Do you like it? I just... Okay. It's very young. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. It's like very... I don't know. I like this one too. I need some nice, like, uh, summer dresses and stuff. Yeah. And then I saw... It's starting to get hot, so... And then I got a matching set that I'm going to wear this week. I got these shorts. Ooh, dope. I like that color. I like this color. I like the pastel colors. There was a matching crew neck. Ooh, that's dope. Because Michelle and I are having like a like a pedicure day. We're going to get our feet done. Mm. So I could wear that. And then I got this sleeping set from Target as well. It came with like shorts and a sh long sleeve shirt. Oh, cool. The last thing I got was just this like oversized button down. Ooh, nice. That I can wear with like biker shorts. I like them. You like? Yeah. I was just supposed to return at Target, man. It's okay. Shit happens. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. We got the boys this ball shooting thing where they can get the ball, put it in a machine, and it shoots the ball out. And so we're gonna open it right now and set it up. I know it's kind of dark, so we'll probably continue it tomorrow. It came today and we just cannot wait. So we're gonna open this. The boys are gonna be so excited. I found it on Amazon, obviously, as you can tell. <laughs> Very excited. We're gonna have to teach them that they have to put the ball back in the machine for it to shoot out. So it'll probably take some getting used to, but I think they're gonna be really excited for it. Oh wow, it's pretty big. I think Casper is gonna be the most excited because if you guys have been watching our vlogs for a while, you know that Casper loves his balls. So I think he'll be the most excited. Hey babe, can you help me lift it up? Yeah. It's hefty looking. Oh snap. Of course I, up, I unboxed it upside down. Oh, it came with two balls. Oh, nice. I will for sure link this down below. And then he's supposed to put the ball in here and then it shoots out from the side. Oh, it's battery operated. Yeah, I told you, you can use battery or plug it in. And then look, you can adjust how high you want the ball. Oh, that's cool. Wait, where do you plug in if you want to plug in? Wait, where's the wire? There is no wire. But it says that. Unless it's in the box. Oh. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> You can plug it in, babe. Oh, okay. Why don't we just do that tonight and plug it in? We're gonna plug it in. Casper, are you excited, babe? I feel like he kind of knows. He'll get it. He's smart. I love how we're doing this at 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah. We'll have lights by tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We're getting lights in the backyard tomorrow. Hey, hey, don't, don't pee on that, bubs. I yeah. know what you're about to do. I know what you're about to do. Oh, shoot. Here's the ball, baby. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Good job, baby! Go back to daddy! Go back to daddy! Is it coming out again?
gotta teach him. I have a new routine in the morning and it's to uh, drink more water and recently I've been drinking um, with drinking my water with the liquid IVs. My first one that I tried was like the passion one and I didn't like it too much so now I'm trying the lemon one and so far I really like the lemon one but I realized that I cannot drink a whole container of water with the whole package of liquid IV. So I just split it in half and only use half of the powder because I feel like it starts tasting like NyQuil half the time. I'm actually gonna get it. I have a half that I used yesterday that I'm gonna use today. By the way, if you have kids or family members that are in Girl Scouts and they're selling Girl Scout cookies, Carlos and I would love to order Girl Scout cookies from you guys. Um, one, we would love to support you, and two, we are extremely obsessed with the Caramel Delights. I bought two boxes last week. I don't, I think you guys saw it in this vlog. I went to Stata Brothers. There were like three girls at the front of Stata Brothers selling Girl Scout cookies, and I literally bought 11 boxes, one of each flavor, but the Caramel Delights is our favorite. It's so good. So this is half of a liquid IV. Um, if you don't drink water, apparently this is really good for you. So, <laughs> that's me. I'm just gonna put half in. So one of these basically lasts me two days. Oh, by the way, Carlos got me this mug, you guys. Um, in case you guys are interested in this mug. First of all, it's by the brand Ball, B-A-L-L, -L, which you guys, if you are into mason jars like me and you have like a collection of mason jars, this is all I use. I love using mason jars for smoothies, water, um, normal drinks, coffee, you guys know that. But I always buy the mason jar that says Ball because that's like the OG, like the original brand. Brand. And this is the perfect mason, which Carlos nailed because I love the mason jars that are rounded. They're usually called the perfect mason. The other ones that you can buy in a pack are more square. But he went on Etsy for Valentine's Day. Carlos got me this. And I love the color. I don't own anything like this. So I love the color. I love the nice blue. And then when you have like a drink inside, it gets all foggy. And it's so beautiful. And it's huge. He also got me this one because he says sometimes I don't drink a lot of coffee. So it's good to have like a smaller one. And also this came with a lid and a straw. And this also came with a lid and a straw. So I can take this to go. Because he's right, like I don't really, like when I go to the nail salon or the hair salon, I don't like carry this whole thing. I can just carry this little thing. He said he got this on Etsy as well. And that makes me really happy because when you buy on Etsy, most of the time you're supporting small businesses. So you're supporting people that are doing it from their bedroom, their, their basement, their garage. You know, I have to have my glass straw. It's the only straws that I like. Yeah. When I do half, it just tastes like subtle lemonade. I wash my hair and let it air dry and it's so poofy. Oh, I wanna show you this outfit. Hello. <laughs> I got these PJs from Old Navy over the weekend for literally $10. I haven't been to Old Navy in forever because I don't have one by my house. And when I used to live, um, back where I used to live, there was an Old Navy nearby. So I was able to stop by and they had so many great deals. I got a puffer jacket for $16. It's, it was amazing. Um, pajama sets for $10. I got some sweats for 10 to 15 bucks. They had amazing deals and I found this pajama set which I thought was so cute and perfect for spring and summer. I feel like I didn't even get a chance to sit down and talk to you about what our plans were for this hallway. We actually went through so many ideas for this huge wall we have. So this is the entryway. This is the front door here. So when people walk in, this is the first thing they see is this hallway that leads back into our kitchen and our main living room. And so I wanted to do something on this side of the wall. It was just looking so plain for a little bit, but I wanted to really take my time and go through different ideas because obviously whatever we choose to do is gonna stay here forever because this is not like buying a piece of furniture and then changing your mind. So I went through so many ideas. Originally, I was going to do, uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, 
Oh, I was gonna do a board and batten for this whole wall and then eventually we are going to build like a little bench right here with pull out shelves. But then I was just feeling like it was like the wrong decision considering like the door would get, not get stuck, but then wouldn't really have room to open all the way. And I didn't want to eliminate any space around the front door. I also wanted to make sure that whatever we did on this wall benefited it. So instead of, you know, it being there for just decor, I wanted the style to elevate the wall in, um, in some way. So I actually, finally, after I would say like three or four months of going back and forth with Carlos and looking at different styles, we decided to do this style, which I do not actually know the exact name. So we went with this style. Now keep in mind, everyone's wall is going to be different. Our wall is not even, as you can tell, we have like the bathroom door right there and then we have this border. So um, this was going to be the best thing for the wall if we went with the style and I loved the way it turns out, it turned out. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but in person, it made this wall a hundred times bigger. Like it looks so big in person, like absolutely massive and it just, Hi, babe. <laughs> it just comes to show you that you can do the smallest things to your home without costing a lot, um, and it'll just transform everything. So last night, or actually yesterday, our friend Dylan came over and he helped us do um, basically the pieces of wood. He did all the measurements and he nailed it to the wall for us. And then last night, uh, Carlos and I hid the nails and then we did some caulking. And Carlos is going to continue the caulking today and then tomorrow we are going to paint everything white. It's not gonna stay brown. So I'm not sure if you guys will see the final product in this video, maybe in the next vlog, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what's going on. And then also on this wall, we decided to just keep it like that. Cause I thought like doing it on this side would be like a little bit too much. So we kept the frames. Carlos and I actually have a couple's photo shoot that we're gonna bring you guys along with us this weekend. We're shooting with the most amazing photographer. His name is Jake Choi um, in Tustin. And he shoots like he shoots people like in Korea, he's in LA, he's all over the world. So we are actually going to change out these photos because these photos were taken 2020. Um, these were our engagement photos when we announced our engagement. So I'm actually gonna move these photos to a photo album and I'm gonna do updated photos for this hallway. And I feel like um, throughout the years as we live in this home, these pictures will change as you know, we have kids and, and our lives start changing, which is why I love a gallery wall. They're so easy to change as well. But I'm so excited. Carlos and I will paint this. I don't think you guys will see it in this vlog, but do you love it, babe? Yes. It's, it was, I think it was the best decision. I'm glad we didn't do board and batten. It would have been too much. I mean, as you guys can see, it just, oh my God. It's crazy what this did to the wall. Yeah, it looks. We're not, um, we're not painting in this video because I have to finish caulking. Yeah. And we're gonna let it sit and dry, so we probably won't start painting until tomorrow. And then in the next video, Carlos can show you his potato and egg recipe and his uh, layered sandwich that he was very excited about. 